friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be making zaru soba. Zaru soba is a cold buckwheat noodles served on a bamboo mesh tray along with a tsuyu, the flavorful dipping sauce. It's a popular choice for lunch during the hot summer days. After cooking soba, the excess starch should be washed away under the cold running water and then soaked in the icy cold water to give them a chew to create the al dente texture. The key component of this noodle dish is umami rich tsuyu, that is a dipping sauce that is made from a dashi and soy sauce and mirin. You can find a various kind of tsuyu at the supermarket, but you can easily make it in your kitchen. Let's get started. First thing first, we are making soba tsuyu, the dipping sauce. This is a concentrated version of tsuyu that you can keep long in your fridge. Combine soy sauce, mirin, kombu, and katsubushi. This is optional, but dried shiitake mushroom in a saucepan. Dried shiitake mushroom adds a complex and earthy flavor to tsuyu. Let it soak for a couple of hours until the dried ingredients are rehydrated and ready to release all the umami. Heat the mixture of a low heat until it comes to a simmer, and simmer for 10 minutes. And remove from the heat and let it cool. Strain and you can chill it in the refrigerator. And you can make niban dashi from the ingredients. Add enough water to cover and cook 5 minutes, and you can get the flavorful dashi. You can make soups or vegetable side dishes with this niban dashi. What I love about this tsuyu is a uh, cost-effective and time-effective at the same time. The tsuyu recipe is usually a mixture of dashi, soy sauce and mirin, and sometimes sugar. If you make it whenever you want, and you will definitely need more dashi ingredients. I make this tsuyu every once in a while and dilute it with water. You can use store-bought tsuyu, of course, and when you use it, please check the label to see whether it is concentrated or not. Bring a large pot of water to a boil, add soba noodles and cook according to the package instructions, and my soba needs 5 minutes of cooking time. While boiling, stir occasionally to prevent the noodles from sticking together. The amount of serving per person is one bunch. But if you need more, cook more. Once the noodles are cooked, drain them and rinse them thoroughly under the cold running water to remove the excess starch, like washing towels. Add ice cubes to shock them when the water runs clear and create an al dente texture. When you serve it, you can use any bamboo mesh tray you have on your hand, and if you don't, just plate it on the serving dish, as I show. Divide the chilled soba noodles into bite-sized serving portions and arrange them on the bamboo mat or plate. For the condiment, prepare the chopped scallions, that is staple, and grated daikon and wasabi if you want. My favorite is grated daikon that adds the refreshing bitterness to tsuyu and matches the summer hot weather. And top it with shredded nori seaweed if you like to make it even more flavorful. Serve the noodles with diluted tsuyu in a small individual bowls. When you eat the zaru soba, take a portion of soba noodles with your chopsticks and dip them into the tsuyu. Soba is very good for your health. It improves your blood circulation, which we always consider the most important for your overall health, and it lowers the blood pressure and cholesterol and has many more health benefits. Zaru soba is a simple and delicious dish that is perfect for a light meal during the hot summer months. And remember that it's good for your health if you don't have allergy to soba, so I recommend having it occasionally. 
Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. And for more information, visit my website, princessbamboo.com. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!